What's up YouTube? I hope each and every one of you guys are healthy and enjoying life today. Today we are reviewing the 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all-wheel drive ultimate. Huge thank you to Jamer Heasley over at Don Buyer Volvo Cars of Dulles, Virginia for allowing me to do this review for you guys today. If you guys are interested in this particular XC60 ultimate or any Volvo product, I'll be sure to have Jamer's information on screen as well as in the description box down below. But with that said, let's get into the video. First things first, I do want to apologize if there is any wind noise. I I do have a windsock on my camera at the moment, but it is a pretty blustery day, so I just want to get that out of the way. But let's get into the exterior and performance. And you can see right now she is in entry exit mode and she is slammed on the ground. It looks absolutely fantastic. So, like I said, this is a 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all-wheel drive ultimate. And this particular one is the dark theme and it's painted in the $695 platinum gray. It looks really, really sweet on the dark theme. But Let's start over here at our headlights. We do get LED headlights with active high beams and active bending lights. You also get Thor's Hammer LED daytime running lights. And just below your headlights, you get headlight cleaners. Those headlight cleaners are a part of the $750 climate package. And then towards the bottom of your front bumper is where you'll find your LED fog lights. So you might have heard me mention that this is the dark theme. So what you get with the dark theme XC60 is a gloss black mesh front grille with a black grille surround. You also get your Volvo emblem at the center of that grill just below your Volvo emblem is where you will find your forward facing camera that forward facing camera goes along with your 360 degree view camera that goes standard on the ultimate what also comes on the ultimate is your forward facing sensor so you get six forward facing sensors total you get one here 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 and over here as well for again six forward facing sensors total and back to the dark theme you also get black lower outer grills so you got one grill there one grill there and then all the way at the bottom this is your lower grill and it is also all blacked out it looks really really sweet and in my personal opinion if i was gonna buy a xc60 i would 100 percent option it with the dark theme uh, because you get the black elements rather than the chrome and again that's just subjective it's my personal opinion i like the black stuff better but Right here is where you'll find your standard 20 inch diamond cut wheels with black pockets and they are wrapped in a 255-45 continental cross contact tire. Give you guys a view of the tread pattern on that tire right there. These are an all season tire. And you might've heard me mention that this thing is slammed. Look how low it is to the ground. And that leads me into my next point. This XC60 is optioned with the $1,800 four corner air suspension, which not only can do this kind of thing, but it also makes it ride absolutely phenomenally on the open road. Now back to the wheel and tire setup. These are the standard 20 inch wheels that come standard on the ultimate trim level. However, you do have two other wheel options. You can either get a 21 inch wheel or a 22. And then moving our way over here again, this is the dark theme. So what you get with the dark theme are these gloss black mirror caps. These mirrors have integrated turn signals. The mirrors are also heated, power folding, auto dimming. You get your blind spot monitoring on the upper left hand side of your driver side mirror and on the upper right hand side of your passenger side mirror. And then at the bottom of your mirror, you have a little camera right there. That camera again goes along with your 360 degree view camera that comes standard on the Ultimate. Working our way up to the top, you get black integrated roof rails, you get some black window trim, you get body color door handles with illumination. So you can see right down there, you get a little light that will illuminate down here at night. You do get keyless access, obviously, so you can unlock and lock the vehicle. We'll get to that later on in the video. Up top at the business end of the XC60, you get a body color shark fin antenna. Working our way back, you get LED taillights. And one thing that I would like to see on the dark theme would be black badging at the back, but it does come with chrome badging. Again, I wish it was black. And then just under your V right here is where you'll find your rear view camera. This XC60 is also optioned with the $200 power lift gate. So you gotta find your L right here, put your hand under there, and the power lift gate will open up rather quickly, I might add as well. This particular XC60 also has the $345 luggage cover, which is located right here and can pretty much cover all your contents of which you don't want thieves to see if you are parked at the airport. This XC60 is also optioned with the $750 protection package Premier. And what you get with that is this luggage mat back here, as well as this stainless steel bumper cover. You also get rubber floor mats, a first aid kit and wheel locks. 
So pretty cool, very good amount of storage space back here. Um, you could probably fit maybe five or six carry-on suitcases back here, no problem. And then over here, what also comes with the Ultimate is this 12 volt power outlet here on the left-hand side of the trunk. But that's about it for the trunk. You can either close the trunk and lock the vehicle by pressing on this button, or you can close the trunk by pressing on that button and while that power lift gate closes let's talk about the rear bumper because you do get two reflectors as well as six backup sensors you get a black rear valence bound here as well which looks pretty darn sweet if you ask me and then you get no exhaust tips again volvo did away with exhaust tips in 2022 on all their 2022 and up vehicles doesn't matter if it's an xc40 an xc60 an s90 an s60 no exhaust tips on any of them and then if you guys were wondering about the max tow capacity of the 2023 volvo xc60 b5 all-wheel drive it is 3500 pounds so that is uh you know not the most amount of weight but it'll tow what you need it to and one thing that's pretty cool about this color is it kind of has like a brownish hue to it i've never seen a gray color quite like this one and in my personal opinion i think it looks pretty darn sweet and just behind here you have your capless filler neck so premium fuel is recommended Anyway, let me know what you guys think of the 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all-wheel drive ultimate in the comments down below. I have done a video with a 2023 XC60 ultimate in the bright theme, so I'll link that in the upper right-hand side of this video right now. But again, let me know what you guys think of this particular XC60 in the comments down below. But let's move into performance. Popping open that hood reveals that two liter turbo four cylinder with a 48 volt mild hybrid system. Total output is 247 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. It is mated to an eight speed automatic transmission for a zero to 60 time in six and a half seconds. If you guys were wondering about fuel economy, you can achieve 23 miles per gallon in the city, 29 miles per gallon on the highway for 25 miles per gallon combined with all wheel drive. I think those are very good fuel economy numbers, especially considering, you know, this thing has all wheel drive and it's a decent sized SUV. But if you guys are enjoying the video so far today, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. I'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and I cannot do that without your guys' help. We're only 3,000 subscribers away. So all I need is 3,000 more of you guys to hit that subscribe button. So please hit the subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section down below. All those likes, comments really help my channel in the YouTube algorithm. So I greatly appreciate it if you guys would do that but let's move into the interior all right moving into the interior i wanted to show you guys the key fob you got your lock function you got your unlock function and you got your power lift gate button by pressing on here and then on the other side of the key fob you have your panic button but again you get keyless access so all you got to do is walk up to the vehicle put your hand behind the door handle and the vehicle will unlock you can tell that it unlocks because the side view mirrors fold out you can also lock the vehicle by running your finger across that little square box and the mirrors fold in, which means that it is locked. But let's move into the interior and see what this is all about. So with the Ultimate, you get a ton of leather here throughout the interior. You get a tailored dashboard, but we'll get to that in a second. You get some black leatherette material up top here with some blonde leatherette material that follows through the entire door panel. But right here, you have your blonde leather. It's nicely padded. You get some stitching on there as well. You get automatic up and down windows at all four corners. Here are your power adjustments side view mirrors if you guys press the L and the R buttons simultaneously that will power fold in your side view mirrors but you have to have the vehicle on to do that and then this is your child lock so that will restrict your passenger window privileges as well as the privileges to step in and out of the vehicle as well aluminum door handle two memory seat adjustment settings you get your unlock and your lock buttons and then you have your beautiful Bowers and Wilkins speaker surround and this Bowers and Wilkins sound system is the reason I wanted to do a video with this car today so stay tuned Tuned for that and then at the bottom of the door panel tons of miscellaneous storage space obviously not as much as what you'd find in a Ford F-150 but still a lot for an SUV of this size here is your illuminated Volvo door sill you can see you get three hash marks on each side and it says Volvo written out at the center looks pretty darn sweet obviously you get a power front driver's seat and a power front passenger seat but I want to step into the interior because it is very cold outside it's not really like super cold it's just very windy so let's move into the interior close the door and again because you get keyless access you also get push button start this isn't a button but just make sure you have your key fob in the interior push your foot down on the brake and twist this to the right and the vehicle will fire up one thing that's kind of interesting about all Volvo products is that there's no like starter it's just kind of like turns on it's kind of it's an interesting thing that i don't really know how to describe uh but it, there's no like 
ah, oh, you know what I mean? Like uh, a vehicle turning on. It's kind of just like, boom. It's kind of interesting. But over here, pressing on this button will open and or close your power lift gate. You do get a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel that I do wish that this thing had a power tilting and telescoping, but it's really not that big of a deal. Let's take a listen to our turn signal. That's what the turn signal sounds like on the XC60. This is also your headlight control stock and your fog light control stock. So I'll walk you guys through that. Flipping that up one time, that turns your daytime running lights on. Flip that up one more time, that turns your headlights always on. Flip that up one more time, that turns your automatic headlights on, which they'll turn on and off automatically without you having to interfere with it. And then flipping that all the way up turns your automatic high beams on or off. So right now they're on and now they're off. So pretty cool. And then to turn your fog lights on, you got to make sure your headlights are on uh, either in the automatic function or in the always on function. So pressing on this button will turn your front fog lights on. And one thing I wanted to show you guys is that you also get rear fog lights by the push of this button. There is your rear fog light. So I'll go inside again. I'm going to press that button again. I'm going to turn them off and you can see that light there goes away. So that is where you will find your rear fog lights. So that is a pretty cool safety feature in my personal opinion, because you don't really find that on anything other than a Volvo product so pretty cool and then on the right hand side of the steering wheel you have your windshield wiper control stock for both the front and rear glass one thing I really like about pretty much all Volvo products is that they seem to do a nice two-tone on the steering wheel so as we see here you get the black leather on the exterior part of the steering wheel and then you get the blonde leather on the interior part of the steering wheel i love the two-tone design it really reminds me of what you would find in like a rolls royce i know that sounds kind of like crazy that i'm comparing this to a rolls royce but what i'm comparing is like that two-tone design on the steering wheel it looks really really good and then on the left hand side of the steering wheel you have your adaptive cruise control settings adaptive cruise control comes with the ultimate and then on the right hand side of the steering wheel you have your media controls this is like volume up this is volume down this is to go back on a track this is to go forward on a track this is to speak to the vehicle and then this is to control your digital gauge cluster let's take a listen to the horn <laughs> That is what the horn sounds like on the XC60. So like I said, you do get a gauge, a digital gauge cluster. So this is a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster with two display modes. Those two display modes being Calm and Navi. So right now this is Navi. If I press this button right here, that puts you into Calm. Press the button again, again, that's Navi and that is Calm. So you have two display modes. This is Calm and the other one is Navi, which basically displays the navigation screen on the screen. But Again, let's go throughout our gauge cluster. So on the right-hand side of the gauge cluster, you have your RPM gauge. On the left-hand side of the gauge cluster, you have your speedometer. Here is your digital speedometer readout. That is your speed limit sign. So that will display the speed of which wherever you are driving, that is where the speed limit sign will display. Ambient exterior temperature, that is our fuel range. So 360 miles till empty. And then that's obviously also your fuel gauge. That is letting us know that the vehicle is on. P is for park. So if I put it into reverse, you can see the R gets bigger, the N gets bigger, and then so on and so forth. Push P to go into park. We're pushing P. And that's about it for that gauge cluster. So just above that, what comes also with the Ultimate is the heads up display. So you do get a heads up display with the Ultimate that displays your speed as well as your speed limit sign. And if you come over here, you press this settings button, you can go into your different controls and then you can swipe down and you can go into your heads up display. So you can turn your heads up display on or off. You can adjust it up or down and then you can adjust the rotation of the heads up display. So I can move it to the left you're not gonna be able to see. I can move it to the right and uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And obviously I can move it up and down as well. So I really like that. You can adjust the brightness of it, which I personally really like. So those are all your heads up display settings there. Again, this does have the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. The Bowers and Wilkins sound system is a $3,200 option and you can only get the Bowers and Wilkins sound system if you guys get the ultimate trim level. So if you guys get a plus, you can't get the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. But on the plus, you can get the Harman Kardon sound system, which is an $800 option. However, if you guys want the Bowers and Wilkins, you gotta get the ultimate, and then it is a $3,200 option, which in my opinion, it is absolutely worth it because this is one of the best sounding sound systems that I've ever heard in any vehicle. If you guys want to see a video comparing the Harman Kardon sound system versus the Bowers and Wilkins sound system, I'll link that also in the upper right-hand section of this video for you guys to check out if you guys are comparing the two things. But 
Moving over to here, this is where you'll find your nine inch Google infotainment screen with wired Apple CarPlay connectivity. So we'd go throughout the screen, you get your map stuff, that is your Bluetooth audio stuff. This is your Apple CarPlay stuff, so you do have to uh, connect it with a wire, and then you can sign in for more features. You see these four boxes, that brings you into your back page. So right now, that is your Google Map stuff, and then this is your Bluetooth radio. Uh, this is your radio stuff, Sirius XM stuff, podcast stuff, news stuff, get your phone stuff, Apple CarPlay, Google Assistant, car status, and air quality. This does have an air purifier if you guys get the ultimate. So right now, the in-car air quality is good. Um, so pretty cool, that also comes with the ultimate. Pressing on this camera, button right here will show right now that is my backup camera if I click that button at the center that is the 360 degree view camera 360 degree view camera comes with the ultimate and you can go in between your different camera zones that's the front this is the driver side you can go into your passenger side and obviously you can go into your rear view camera as well you can turn your parking sensors on or off and then you can turn your rear auto brake on or off by pressing either of those two and then moving on this if you press right here where it says 72, that will bring you into your climate control screen. So the climate control screen will go throughout the screen and uh, you guys can pause your screen and see what you can adjust there if you want to. This is a four zone climate control vehicle. Four zone climate control also comes with the ultimate. You can see you have a chair right here and another chair over there. This is the, your driver's chair. So if I click on that, it brings you into your different settings. So this is my heated seat stuff, uh, or this is my heated steering wheel stuff. This is my heated seat stuff. And then you also get ventilated front seats as well. So you got heated steering wheel, three levels of adjustability. Heated seat, three levels of adjustability. Ventilated seat, also three levels of adjustability. One thing that you also get with the Ultimate is this thigh extension right here, as well as you do get power adjustable seat bolsters. So this is here and then this one is also adjustable which is very nice and to adjust that you can find your little nub right here pull up on that nub and that brings you into your seat control screen so you can adjust these power bolsters over here with the buttons over here on the side of your seat so right now I'm bringing the bolsters closer to me so that you can see they're tightening up then I can also bring them away from me as well you can see when I'm tightening them you can see that arrow is blue on the left and then if I loosen them you can see that arrow is blue on the right so that's pretty cool I'm tightening them now I'm loosening them go down one more with the little nub that I showed you guys now you can adjust your lumbar stuff go down one more and then you can adjust your thigh extension so pretty cool and lots of different seat controls and then on your screen there is your time and uh, really that's about it for the screen I guess one more thing I can show you guys is that if you go into the screen I want to show you guys the air suspension stuff so I believe it would be in driving not this so you go into your driving stuff you scroll down and with the air suspension you can make your suspension feel firm which is pretty cool on the regular XC60 ultimate you can not adjust the suspension feel so that's pretty cool the only thing without if you do not get the air suspension the only thing that you can adjust driving dynamics wise is the steering wheel firm on or off so if you guys get the air suspension obviously you can turn the air suspension on or off you can turn the air suspension control for easy entry and exit which is on which is why the vehicle is so low which I showed you guys on the exterior and then you can also adjust the suspension either to be in normal mode and or firm mode so that is pretty cool and then down here you got your hazard button what I like about the hazards is that the button flashes with the hazards you get your front defroster you get your rear defroster this is to go back on a track forward on a track push this button will play or pause on a track and then this is your volume knob and then over here this is a dead button so that doesn't really do anything sliding this open you get a great spot you can set your key fob sliding this thing all the way back you got two cup holders and a 12 volt outlet and another spot you can set a phone if you wanted to if your key fob dies you can set your key fob right here and you will still be able to start the vehicle so it'll pick up the chip in the key fob this also, this gear shifter comes with the ultimate, so it's the crystal knob gear shifter. This comes with the ultimate again. Push forward to go into reverse. Pull all the way backwards to go into drive. Push forward one time to go into neutral, but go back into drive. If you pull back one more time, then it puts you into manual mode. If you guys push this gear shifter to the left, that's the downshift. Push it to the right, that is to upshift. So you can upshift, that's downshift, that's upshift, and then push P to go into park. 
If you twist this to the right, that will turn the vehicle off at the moment. Um, if you twist that to the right with your foot on the brake, that will start the vehicle. This is your electronic parking brake, and then this is auto hold. So this will hold you in place in traffic, which is a really, really cool feature in my opinion. Uh, definitely like that feature. Moving up to here, you get an auto dimming rear view mirror with your universal garage door opener. So if your house has three different garage bays, you can open up those three different garage bays individually, which is pretty cool. You get your Volvo on call stuff. So your roadside assistance and stuff like that. Pressing on this button will turn on all the interior dome lights. This does have a pano roof and your pano roof controls are right here. So right now when I slide my finger forward like that, the shade will close or yeah. And then if I slide it up like this and I apply a little bit extra pressure, that will open up the pano roof itself. But I don't wanna open up the pano roof because it is pretty dang cold out. But if I press just like right here, that will tilt it. So you can see now it's tilted. And then if I press right here, that's gonna close it. So pretty cool. And then opening this up, get your vanity mirror with a vanity light, as well as a clip. You can set some money, business cards, or any small paper product. Get an Opu panel. This is your Bluetooth mic pickup for your Bluetooth phone. Another Bluetooth mic pickup for the Bluetooth phone for the passenger in the front. Get an Opu handle and then the visor looks the exact same on the passenger side as it does on the driver side. You get a tailored dashboard with the Ultimate as well, which is leather wrapped with some accent colored stitching. It looks really good. There's your Bowers and Wilkins sound system center speaker. That's your tweeter and then that's your center speaker. Looks pretty cool. And it says Bowers and Wilkins. Again, this Bowers and Wilkins sound system is fantastic. One thing that I really like about this interior is that it's simplistic yet it's very elegant just like the design of it so you can see between the door panel to the steering wheel to the infotainment screen just to the entire dash setup it looks really good and i like how simplistic it is so i think it will age very well and then i'm going to open up the glove box show you guys the glove box very good amount of storage space down in there for your owner's manual some napkins some straws or stuff like that now a couple things i wanted to read off to you guys is that this does have the 750 dollars climate package which includes the headlight cleaners the integrated booster cushions which are in the second row outer seats which i'll show you guys in a second and then also the heated steering wheel i want to show you guys the headlamp cleaners now because they are pretty cool so if i have my headlights on and i pull back on the windshield wiper stock watch the headlights you know they're being sprayed with something right now you can see that they're literally being sprayed with a high pressure jet that is cleaning off the headlights. So I think that is pretty cool. This one also has the $3,200 15 speaker Bowers and Wilkins sound system, which sounds absolutely phenomenal. And it is absolutely worth the $3,200. So if you guys are specking one of these things out yourself and you're gonna order it from the factory um, and you guys are getting the ultimate trim level, definitely get the Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Believe me, it is worth every single penny, believe me. And then I also wanna read some of the features that you guys get when you guys opt for the ultimate trim level and those things include adaptive cruise control 360 degree view camera the heads-up display the four zone climate control the high level interior illumination which is basically like your ambient lighting it lights up behind the door uh, the door handle and then all down in there all throughout the dash it looks pretty darn sweet at night and then it also gets the air purifier the ventilated front seats the crystal gear shifter the tailored dash and the power adjustable seat bolsters i think that's pretty cool um, i'm going to read off to you guys some of the safety and security features here for a second i'm going to throw those on screen now and what you get with the ultimate includes blind spot information system with steer assist and cross traffic alert with auto brake pilot assist which is a driver assistance system with adaptive cruise control Collision avoidance featuring low and high speed collision mitigation that detects vehicles, pedestrians, cyclists, and large animals. Run off road protection and run off road mitigation. Lane departure warning and lane keeping aid. Oncoming mitigation by braking. Front side and curtain airbags with driver side knee airbag. A whiplash protection system also known as whips in the front seats. Rear park assist camera plus front and rear park assist. Power child lock for the rear doors. I showed you guys that when we were on the driver's side door panel. And then automatic braking after collision. Now let's go over some of the government safety ratings. So the overall vehicle score for this XC60 is five stars. The frontal crash for the driver and front passenger is five stars. The side crash for the front and rear seats are both five stars. And then you get four stars for rollover. So God forbid you get in an accident 
just know that you are in a very safe vehicle. So now I'm gonna throw the rest of the window sticker on screen. You guys can take a look at what options this one has, what kind of gas mileage it has, all the luxury and convenience features if you want. Pretty much you can look at whatever you want to on the window sticker, but I am gonna highlight the MSRP right now. So the MSRP of the way that this particular 2023 Volvo XC60 B5 all-wheel drive ultimate is spec is $64,635. This is nearly a fully loaded XC60 and considering you can get a very nicely loaded um, and equipped XC60 for under $65,000 is definitely a win in my book. Um, it's a very, very nice vehicle for $65,000. But I do wanna show you guys what's going on in those rear seats before we get into the driving portion of the review. So taking a look at the rear door panel, it looks very similar to what you would find on the front door panel, minus all those controls that you have on the driver. Uh, but one thing I like is that you can lock the vehicle from the second row doors. That's your Bowers and Wilkins sound system. Here is your aluminum door handle, automatic up and down windows in the rear, nicely padded armrest, and some miscellaneous storage space at the bottom of the door panel. Taking a look at our rear seats, very similar to what you would find at the front. Again, you get those integrated booster seats, so all you gotta do is pull like that, and then there is your booster seat. So that's pretty cool, you can see quite a bit. So you don't have to go out and buy a booster seat that's gonna ruin your leather because this one has the integrated booster seats. I think that is pretty cool. And uh, Volvo is taking care of you and your leather in the back seats of your XC60. So let's move into these rear seats and see what it is all about back here. So you get an HVAC vent here. You get another HVAC vent right there. You get an Opu handle, a spot you can hold your dry cleaning. You get a dome light right there. Another spot you can set some dry cleaning. You get a seat back pocket behind the driver's seat and a seat back pocket behind the passenger seat. Just know that these seat back pockets are mesh. So if you guys maybe set a pen through there, it may go through, it may not. Um, just be aware what you put in these seats because they uh, are mesh. Again, four zone climate control so I can have my own temperature. This passenger can have their own temperature. And then moving down to here, you get two USB-C ports. You get another two HVAC vents there. You get a center fold down armrest with two cup holders. All you gotta do to open up the cup holders is push on this. And the cup holders come sliding out. You get one and two cup holders as well as a nicely padded armrest. Closing that, you get a great spot. You can set your skis through here so you can open this up through, those, uh, through the trunk. And then you can send your skis through here or if you wanna reach like some Cheez-Its on a road trip and they're just behind this seat. You gotta open up this door and you can grab your Cheez-Its, no problem. But, you know, we've talked about the exterior, we've talked about the performance, and now we've talked about what's going on here in the interior of the XC60 Ultimate. So I wanna see what this thing's like to drive as I'm assuming you guys do as well. So I will see you guys in the driver's seat. All right, guys, and now on to the driving portion of the review where we start our videos in this spot every time. We go over these speed bumps at five miles an hour and rate them on a scale of one to 10. Nothing will ever be a 10. And this is probably going to be one of the highest scores that I've ever given a vehicle um, because it rides amazingly well over these speed bumps with that air suspension. So we're gonna go five miles an hour. This thing's gonna get an 8.7 on a scale of one to 10. I think this is probably one of the best vehicles that I've driven over those speed bumps ever. I mean, with that air suspension, it just, it glides right over those speed bumps like nothing. I believe the air suspension's like an $1,800 option. Let's see. Yeah, it's an $1,800 option. And in my opinion, again, if you guys are gonna get the Ultimate, the two options that you guys must option on the Ultimate, now that I've driven and I've tested out both options, you gotta get the $3,200 Bowers & Wilkins sound system and you gotta get the $1,800 four corner air suspension. Now, if you guys do not get the four corner air suspension, the XC60 Ultimate still rides very well, even without the air suspension, but the air suspension just gives it that whole new level of just handling, or not handling, but the whole new level of just comfort. That's the word that I'm looking for. And that's, it's kind of a very similar thing to the Bowers & Wilkins sound system. Like, I've tested many Volvo products with the Harman Kardon sound system, and I always thought that they were very, very good. And then I stepped in a vehicle with the Bowers & Wilkins sound system, a Volvo vehicle with the Bowers & Wilkins sound system, and it's just a whole nother level of sound system. So if you guys are also getting, or if you guys are getting an Ultimate, also I think you should get the Bowers & Wilkins sound system because it sounds 
absolutely phenomenal. It's fantastic, such a great sounding sound system. And another thing that I really appreciate just with the ultimate trim level as a whole is the heads up display. So normally when I have this camera on, um, it's kind of not difficult for me to look down and look at the speed, but for me to just look straight ahead and not have to look down at the gauge cluster, it's very, very nice to just be able to see the speed uh, that I'm currently going as well as the speed limit sign of where I currently am. So very, very nice in my opinion. Love that and uh, again that heads-up display comes standard on the ultimate so like I mentioned this does have the Bowers and Wilkins sound system and I'm gonna play a song for you guys um, just so you guys can hear how good the Bowers and Wilkins sound system so I don't know how well the GoPro is gonna pick up the sound system um, but just I can tell you guys from my personal experience in this this is literally I think the best sound system that I've ever heard in any vehicle so I'm gonna play a song for you guys I wish I could play you guys a good song that I like that's not copyright free uh, but this is a copyright free song if I play another song that you guys have heard of then I'm gonna get a copyright strike and it's just not good for my channel so I'm gonna play this song and uh, give you guys a little bit of time to hear what it sounds like it's so clear the bass is phenomenal and you guys will hear that here at the bass drop Turn it up to about there. Here's the bass drop. The sound system in this thing is just insanely good. It's so good at being clear. It's so good at the bass. It's just literally, I think it's the best sounding sound system that I've ever heard. And that's why I think it's worth the $3,200. Yes, I know $3,200 is a lot of money for a sound system. But when you guys get in this and you hear it, I think you guys will be like, okay, now I understand why it's $3,200. And yeah, I think I definitely want to option that on my XC60. So again, you know, that's just my personal opinion. Again, if you know, if you guys don't really care that much about sound, the Harman Kardon sound system that comes standard on the Ultimate will be just fine for you guys. But if you guys like to listen to music in your car and you know, listening to music in your car is kind of like your therapy session, um, then you're gonna definitely want to get the Bowers and Wilkins sound system guys I mean it sounds so freaking good and it's just literally an amazing sound system but anyway that's besides the point um, just an overall really great driving vehicle with the air suspension the air suspension makes this thing ride even better than it did without the air suspension so even with the XC60 that doesn't have air suspension they still ride very very well but again like I said already it just takes it to another level when you guys opt for the air suspension. So, um, and the air suspension in, you know, compa in comparison to the Bowers and Wilkins sound system is, you know, relatively affordable at $1,800 for a four corner air suspension. And when you get out of it, you can see how low it is. It looks really sweet. I know looks aren't the only thing that you guys are going to be deciding when getting an $1,800 option. But when you get out of it and it's low, it looks really, really sweet. And then it also makes this thing ride very well as well. So um, in my opinion, I think both of those two options are absolutely worth it. But again, that's just my opinion. What do I know, right? No, I'm just kidding. But uh, you know, sound system, fantastic. The way that this thing drives, fantastic. The adaptive cruise control setting is great. And one thing that I like about the Volvo products and the Subaru products is that if you guys are sitting at a stoplight and the vehicle ahead of you has moved, this vehicle will let you know vehicle ahead of you has moved. So let's say you're sitting at a stoplight, you're on your phone or you're looking over there and you're not paying attention to the light and the vehicle ahead of you has moved, it'll go beep, beep, beep. And it'll be like, hey dude, the vehicle ahead of you has moved. You gotta get going. So I think that's a really cool feature. I love the pano roof. I love how quiet it is in here, even on a blustery day like it is here today. Very, very windy and it still remains very quiet here on the interior of this vehicle. So like two or three weeks ago, I did a video with the new BMW i7, which is the seven series BMW sedan. And I compared the Volvo vehicles to that because Volvo vehicles are very good at sound insulation from the outside world so comparing this or a Volvo product in general to a 130 some thousand dollar vehicle a plus in my book so very great ride um, just an overall really nice and quiet interior listen 
and just an overall very elegant and luxurious vehicle and great alternative to the BMWs and the Mercedes and the Lexus uh, because it's just an overall really nice looking vehicle from the outside in my opinion if I were you and I was getting uh, an XC60 I would do the dark theme like we have on this particular XC60 but again if you guys like chrome go ahead get the bright theme if you guys like the blacked out trim get the dark theme but uh before we end out today's video i am going to be doing a zero to 60 test so let's skip to that now all right guys and now on to our zero to 60 test all we got to do is floor it in three two one That is 60, we did an 8.3 second zero to 60 time. And just keep in mind that uh, that is a draggy verified zero to 60 time. And you know, we didn't brake boost it, we didn't launch it, we didn't do any of that crazy stuff. We just floored it from a standstill. And I think 8.3 seconds is rather respectable. And I think that you can get it a lot faster. I think if you um, brake boosted it, but that's not something that I am willing to do on this vehicle but I think you can get a faster zero to 60 time. And also I wanted to mention is that, you know, this thing from normal driving, like day-to-day -day driving from stoplight to stoplight has very good amount of power. Like I was just noticing that, like uh, I'll do a little acceleration here, like I would normally do like from stoplight to stoplight and watch how quickly it accelerates. So just like a regular acceleration here, and it really pushes you back into your seat. I know the zero to 60 time didn't seem, you know, all that impressive, but from like normal driving, like how I would drive from day to day, stoplight to stoplight, in traffic and all that kind of stuff, it has more than enough get up and go to move you around in traffic. And if this isn't enough power for you guys, if you guys get the ultimate, you can upgrade it to the B6 powertrain, which gives you more horsepower and stuff like that. And if that's not enough, you guys can get the recharge models, which is like 490 or something like that horsepower. Um, so, I think this thing's got more than enough get up and go. I don't really think that you need the B6, um, but you know, extra power is always nice. So I don't think I've driven a B6 um, XC60, so I can't really speak to what kind of power it has. Of course, this guy pulls out right as I'm getting close to. Uh, anyway, but uh, you know, again, I think this thing's got more than enough get up and go for those of you guys who are looking to get one as a daily driver. Again, if this is just from a point A to point B car and you want something that's really nice, I think this is a great vehicle for you but that's it for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up please hit that subscribe button like i said i'm really trying to hit 10,000 subscribers and i cannot do that without your guys's help so if you guys would please help me hit 10,000 subscribers we're only 3,000 away hit that subscribe button but again that's it for today's video i will see you guys in the next one peace